What is it like to play Novak Djokovic on hard court? Hey everyone, Coach Simon here with Top Tennis Training and today I'm joined by Marcel Ilhan, former top 80 ATP pro and someone who has played Novak Djokovic on a hard court. So Marcel is going to explain how he felt playing that match and what it's like to actually face one of the greatest tennis players of all time on a hard court. So Marcel, in 2015, you go to Dubai. Tell us what happened. So Dubai it was one of the best my tournaments and also I have an interesting story how I get it. Uh, I played uh, main draw Australia. Yes. Rod Lever against Horinka, so season was not starting well. So <laughs> That's a very hard match. Yeah, <laughs> very hard match. And during the next weeks I was not get results what I expect. And we discussed with my coach, he tell let's try challengers, you know, at least you get confidence. And play some matches, play yeah. Play some matches because that month, February, I have also a lot of points to defend. Okay. So it was, I think, around one hour to deadline and suddenly I came to room. We almost decided to go to French, I think, French challenger. Yes. And I tell, let's go to Dubai, let's try this. The ATP. Let's try ATP 500. And after this, if nothing happened, let's, uh, let's play some challengers, you yes. know? And he says, are you sure? We discuss a little bit. No, no, I said, it's 100%, let's go. you know? Because like, I'm usually, I love Dubai, but years before, I don't make any results, you know, there, any good results, because I don't like some conditions and balls was, was there in that moment, you know, that was balls. Are they I, very fast or? It was very fast, yeah, okay. you know, I always struggling with control and some things, you know. Yes. And okay, we decided to go, I passed the qualities, two matches and qualities. I beat Zverev, I beat uh, Feliciano Lopez, so it's... So, so you come to the quarterfinals? Yeah, quarterfinals and it was Novak Djokovic. So tell us your mindset <laughs> heading into that match. So Novak Djokovic, it was... I, I, I'm following him many years on the tour. He was like, that, and that year, especially his performance was amazing. Yeah, he only lost a few matches that yeah, year. Yeah, a few matches, maybe three, four matches during yes, the whole season. season. And when he comes even to quarterfinal, he played amazing. So, of course, it's, I was happy it was not first round. It's yes. At least quarterfinal, <laughs> you get some points, you know. And um, so I started to enjoy a little bit because the first experience in Rod Laver. I was so tight a little bit, you know, to, I never when you played play on, Rinka, a, yes. on a big court on Grand Slam. I was playing um, US Open yes. on grandstand courts, but I never played in like Rod Liver. So after okay. that experience, I will be... A little bit more relaxed. Yeah, more relaxed, more calm. I started enjoying of crowd. So you reach the quarterfinals and you've got Novak Djokovic. What is your mindset heading into the match? So mindset, of course, I have nothing to lose. I should enjoy, you know, because it's... Just have fun out there. Finding out is great experience. Yep. It's, uh, it's history, you know, to play against these kind of players. Maybe it's never happened like this, some yes. of these players. Maybe it's not coming up, you know, we, ne we, ne we don't know. In the future, In the future ever be another going on. And I try to enjoy, but also I understand I try to do my best. Yes. And to play against him, I understand I should give 100%, you know, 100% uh, effort. Like, for example, all foreigns, like, for example, I should smash, you know. Really go for it. Really go for it, you know. Otherwise, there's no chance because all returns, uh, for example, and any in baseline without no mistakes. And your mindset, you can understand, you cannot get easy any points. Every you know? point is a struggle. Yeah, any struggling, of course, in the... And, on other points, it start, you starting rushing. Okay. And what he get his for you, you know, when you starting rushing, you starting do like... Unforced errors. Unforced errors, easy mistakes, and what he want exactly, you know? Yes. Sometimes he don't want to do any special things, you know? You just do your job, you know? So that pressure, what you feel, you make me many mistakes. So and I understand, like, well. for example, surf, you should really go for it. But to beat this guy, you should... Have big surf, I think, uh, big strokes. Yes, power-based game. Power-based game. And I made it like during the match, uh, I think four or five shots, but this is not enough, you know? It's not yeah. enough, it's, I don't uh, practice like this, you know, I never... It's a different game, isn't different it? Different game, yeah, completely different, different game. And I understand the big players, it's like, also I give example, when I ask from a soccer player, 
when you play against big team, Real Madrid, Manchester, Barcelona, the important is uh, beginning of the game. Like if you're losing one goal, one mistake, one mistake, it's make me one, two, three, four, five. And the tennis match is the same. If you're losing one break, it can be second. That could be the end of the match and already. And the uh, gap is going big, you know, yes. after. And they're playing amazing, you know. And any score like during the game, if love 30 or break point, they get immediately. For example, I have one break point and I don't get it, you know. Yes. These small, small things, small chances, small chances you should get, you know. You need to take them. Otherwise, it's not coming. If you're coming one time, you should get it. It's not, it's not will be three or four times what you can reach with other players on the tour. Yes. And heading into that match, was that the first time you ever played with Djokovic? Because a lot of players will obviously practice together. Uh, even if they don't play an official match, you may be trained with Djokovic. Was that the first time you actually felt his ball? Yeah, it's different speed. Really, it's different. It's like I play with Nadal, I practice with Federer. I also explain in the uh, next videos yes. what was different. But first, you have to feel the speed. Speed is amazing. Does he play quite flat? Does he it's play flat, yeah, especially from return, you know, it's get your speed very fast, you know, okay. under the legs. So you don't have time to you actually have finish your time, service yeah. motion. And service also is like accurate, good, maybe it's not so fast, but accuracy in the placement, it was amazing what I feel. And with Djokovic, we know that he likes to take the ball early. He likes to take the ball on the rise. Yeah. Did you feel under a lot of pressure in terms of time when you played him? Yeah, yeah, this is, that was... Uh, your, your first feeling, you, your feeling, yeah. You have no time. You have no time, yeah. You should do everything, something special. You're rushing, this is what's yes. getting your, your mindset is crazy. And what stood out for Novak Djokovic, in your opinion? What makes him such a, a great player? I think, of course, hard work and also I think God gives them special talents, you know? Yes. What, we, what, you, what you couldn't teach or you couldn't uh, make from the practice it's something special like, he's just born naturally gifted yeah, and natural, he works very hard and special elastics and mental things strokes it's something different different uh, league you know like an alien yeah <laughs> I, I just give always example like Messi Ronaldo when they're watching something different this yes. is guys also this is and I think that uh, that years it was generation of uh, players and technology, you know, is like coming superstars. Like a from revolution. Revolution from sports and football, tennis, many big names come, coming up. Yes. That year. And I was happy I was there, you know. Yeah. At least I, it's I an experience. Me, it's a great for. experience. And after the match, when you went back to training, did you change anything with your training? Because you now played against one of the greatest players of all time. Did you adapt your training to, to prepare for someone like him in the future? Uh, after that that match, I understand you are not hitting foreign. You know you should hitting <laughs> like you have to crush the ball. You have to crush the ball. You know because sometimes on the practice you think that this is enough. This is enough speed. This is not enough. When you're going up, is the level is uh, level. The ball is different. You know and you should work hard. Uh, you should on stay this. on the court on this stage. You know because speed is changed. The most important, what I understand on the high level tennis is speed. It's like. Expensive car, Ferrari, Lamborghini, they yes. have speed. Uh, big teams, they play very fast. Also tennis players, so for me it's important speed. So when you compare Djokovic to a player like uh, maybe a challenger level, the tempo of his rally, how much time do you have between each shot? For example, maybe at the challenger level you have one and a half seconds, but with Djokovic you have 0 0.7 seconds, for example. Did you uh, feel that change of tempo when you're playing him? It's, uh, even top 100 you couldn't, you know, some players, I play against top 20, uh, top 10, I yes. always have matches, but this was something different. Completely next Completely level. Completely different. When I see now, maybe it's not the same, but that year, 2015. He was on fire that he year. He was on fire, you know. Even now, okay, he's still on the fire, but not that... Uh, At the same level, yes. Same level, what, that uh, 2015, and if you compare 2011. Yes. When he have like 40 matches in a row. Incredible stuff. And uh, that's what I understand. If you play a little bit bad, he can beat that time 6 0 6 0. <laughs> really? So you have very little chance of actually yeah, winning any games. player, any player. I saw, I don't want to tell the name, but I, it was top player. And when I come watch years before, and he's struggling to get the 
points, you know? It was, I was thinking, oh my God, what is, is this? Is this guy playing tennis or is he playing something yeah, else? So yeah, so this is a huge experience and you should understand how you should work when you... When you have training. When you're training. So Marcel, after the match, if you had to choose one element of Djokovic's game to add to your own game, would it be his return? Would it be his accuracy on the serve? Would it be the way he can take the ball on the rise? What would it be? Movement. 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 Elastic. It's, uh, it's like the rubber band man. Stretch from the backhand side, especially yes. with open the legs. So it's flexibility. The flexibility plus the movement. is amazing. So it's, and I think from the young age, he's working on that. He's working about that, and I give advice. So you should work about your flexibility. You know, because like in my case, I don't work about flexibility. I don't know these things, you know? Yes. But if when you're growing uh, up, you mean. somebody grow up, I think they should also give attention to this uh, part of, of the, the game. game. It's Very also good. helping him for sure, of course, in return, you know? Yes. Like I also can explain in return how he's opened the legs and you couldn't see the space, you know, he's covered like almost the... Uh... Like an eagle's wings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Marcel, after that week, Obviously, you've qualified, you've won two rounds in the main draw, beating two very high-level players. It actually set you up really well for the rest of the season, is that correct? Yeah, it's changed completely my schedule, my ranking, uh, because sometimes you should think big, you know. If that week maybe I go to challenger, you know, maybe okay, if I reach some semi or final, I you get can it. get some points, but it's not. That week it's changed completely, only one tournament. It's, Set you up for the rest uh, of yeah, the year. Yeah, for the rest for the year. I was almost in top 100. Yes. And that February, I was in many points to defense. And in one tournament, I closed the half of the season. So Amazing. they make uh, the thing sometimes, you sh you, you, my coach uh, teach me the things before. You should think always big, big matches, big tournaments. Go for the risk. Going for the risk sometimes, yes. you know. That was my experience to play against Novak Djokovic. I hope you enjoy it. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, of course, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on our future lessons with Marcel. Signing off, Coach Simon with Marcel. See you soon, guys. Take care.